Good day everyone! This video is about the visibility rules for 4, 8, 11, and 12. During the COVID-19 pandemic crisis, the DOH announces to hire 592 nurses to be assigned in different public hospitals. The department head wants to assign them equally into hospitals. How many possible nurses will be assigned in each hospital if they will be distributed into 4, 8, 11, or 12 hospitals? Will they be able to distribute the nurses equally? To solve this problem, let's divide 592 by 4. 5 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down 9. 19 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Subtract. 19 minus 16 is 3. Bring down 2. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Subtract. 32 minus 32 is 0. So the answer in 592 divided by 4 is 148. So 592 is divisible by 4. There will be 148 nurses in each hospital. A number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits is a multiple of 4. Ang ibig sabihin, ang number ay nahahati sa apat kung ang huling dalawang digit nito ay multiple of 4. Let us know first the multiples of 4. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, 64, 68, 72, 76, 80, 84, 88, 92, 96, and many more. But we only need one to two digit multiples of four. Example 592 ends with 9 and 2. 92 is a multiple of 4, so the original number, which is 592, is divisible by 4. Another example, 5,524 ends with 2 and 4. 24 is a multiple of 4. So the original number, which is 5,524, is divisible by 4. A number is also divisible by 4 if it ends with two zeros. Example, 100 ends with two zeros. It is divisible by 4. Another example, 2,000 ends with two zeros. So, 2,000 is divisible by 4. Another one is 4,500. It ends with two zeros. So, 4,500 is divisible by 4. In Tagalog, ang number na nagtatapos sa dalawang zeros ay divisible or nahahati rin sa apat. Let's go back to the problem. Now, let's try dividing 592 by 8. This time, let's divide 592 by 8. 5 divided by 8 can be, proceed with 9. 59 divided by 8 is 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract. 59 minus 56 is 
3. Bring down 2. 32 divided by 8 is 4. 4 times 8 is 32. Subtract 32 minus 32 is 0. The answer in 592 divided by 8 is 74. Therefore, 592 is divisible by 8. There will be 74 nurses in each hospital. A number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last 3 digits is divisible by 8. We have here 6,544. The last 3 digits are 5, 4, and 4. So let's check if 544 is divisible by 8. 5 divided by 8 cannot be. 54 divided by 8 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract. 54 minus 48. 4 minus 8 cannot be, so borrow 1 from 5. This will be 4. And then 4 will be 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. Then bring down 4. 64 divided by 8 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Subtract. 64 minus 64 is 0. So the quotient is 68. If the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8, the original number, which is 6,544, is divisible by 8. Let's have another example. We have here 10,248. The last three digits are 2, 4, and 8. Now let's check if 248 is divisible by 8. 2 divided by 8 cannot be. 24 divided by 8 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Subtract. 24 minus 24 is 0. Bring down 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. So the quotient is 31. Since 248 is divisible by 8, the original number which is 10,248 is also divisible by 8. Also, a number is divisible by 8 if it ends with 3 zeros. Example, we have 1,000. It ends with 3 zeros. So, 1,000 is divisible by 8. Another one, 2,000. 2,000 ends with 3 zeros. So, it is divisible by 8. Another one, 30,000. 30,000 ends with three zeros. So it is also divisible by eight. Remember, all numbers divisible by eight are also divisible by four. Now let's go back to the problem. Let's now check if 592 nurses is divisible by 11. Now, let's check if 592 is divisible by 11. 5 divided by 11 cannot be. 59 divided by 11 is 5. 5 times 11 is 55. Subtract. 59 minus 55 is 4. Bring down 2. 42 divided by 11 is 3. 3 times 11 is 33. Subtract. 42 minus 33. 2 minus 3 cannot be. So borrow 1 from 4. This will be 3. And this will be
will be 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. 3 minus 3 is 0. So the answer is 53 remainder 9. 592 is not divisible by 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sums of the odd number digits and even number digits is 0 or a multiple of 11. We have here 592. 592 has 1, 2, 3 digits. Then, let's get the sum of the odd number digits. So, let's get the sum of 5 and 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. And then, let's get the sum of the even number digits. We have here only 9. Let's subtract. 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. It says here, that the difference must be 0 or a multiple of 11. 2 is not a multiple of 11. So, 592 is not divisible by 11. Another example, we have here 3,465. So, 3,465 has 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. So, again, let's get the sum of the odd number digits. So, we have 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. And then, let's get the sum of the even number digits. We have 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Let's find the difference of the sums. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. The difference is 0. So, 3,465 is divisible by 11. Let's have one last example. We have here 71,566. 71,000 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits. So let's get the sum of the odd numbered digits. We have 7, 5, and 6. So 7 plus 5 plus 6. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. Next, let's get the sum of the even number digits. So we have 1 plus 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. Next step is to subtract 18 minus 7. 18 minus 7 is 11. 11 is a multiple of 11. So, 71,566 is divisible by 11. Let's go back to the problem. Let's recall that 592 is divisible by 4. It is also divisible by 8. But it is not divisible by 11. Now let's see if 592 is divisible by 12. So now let's check or let's divide 592 by 12. 5 divided by 12 cannot be. 59 divided by 12 is 4. 4 times 12 is 48. Subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down 2. 112 divided by 12 is 9. 9 times 12 is 108. Let's subtract. 
2 minus 8 cannot be. So let's borrow from 1. This will be 0. And 2 will be 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So the answer is 49 remainder 4. 592 is not divisible by 12. How will we know if a number is divisible by 12? A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 4 and 3. So now let's check if 624 is divisible by 12. It says here that a number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 4 and 3. So first let's check the last two digits. 24 is a multiple of 4. So 624 is divisible by 4. Now let's check if it's divisible by 3 by adding all the digits. 6 plus 2 plus 4. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 is a multiple of 3. So 624 is also divisible by 3. If it's divisible by both 4 and 3, it's automatic that 624 is divisible by 12. Next, we have here 1,356. So let's check first if it's divisible by 4. The last two digits are 5 and 6. 56 is a multiple of 4. So 1,356 is divisible by 4. Next, let's check if the number is divisible by 3. So let's add all the digits. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 is a multiple of 3. So 1,356 is divisible by 3. If it's divisible by 4 and by 3, it is also divisible by 12. 